So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you why it is quite often a better choice to use a USB-C hub as opposed to a Thunderbolt dock. And the hub that I'm going to be using for this demonstration is this one by DockTech, which I believe is quite possibly the best value for money USB-C hub of its type. But first, a quick word from this video's sponsor, who is Tone from Tone's Adventures HD. What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. That was Tone from Tone's Adventures HD who's a dead boss YouTuber. Okay, so getting into this then, and what I'm gonna do is go from right to left on this hub and explain what the differences are between a USB-C hub and a Thunderbolt hub. So the first thing that we can see here is the HDMI port. Now this HDMI port is capable of doing 4K 60 frames per second. Now if this were on a Thunderbolt dock, you would get exactly the same thing in most instances, so there would be absolutely no difference whatsoever. How However, on a Thunderbolt dock, if you need display port and the dock has got that on it, then of course the Thunderbolt dock would be the better choice in that particular instance. And also sometimes these ports can go up to 8K as well, and you may find that also on a dock. But in general, these HDMI ports are all set for 4K 60. And also, if you've only got a 4K monitor which goes up to 60 hertz, then anything above that is a waste. Now moving over onto the SD cards here, and on this particular hub, these card slots are rated at UH1. Now, technically speaking, DockTech say that these ports will allow up to 105 megabytes per second as far as transfers are concerned. In practice, I actually experience higher than that with this particular dock. And it's also worth mentioning here that when I connect this dock to my MacBook Pro M1 Max, the SD card slots on this dock are actually 50% faster than the built-in SD card reader on my MacBook. And as far as the Thunderbolt docks are concerned, if they've also got you UHS-1 SD card readers on them, you will get absolutely no difference in the read speeds at all anyway. And now moving on to these two USB-A ports here, which are rated as USB-3, which operate at 5 gigabits per second. Again, if you end up using something like this on a Thunderbolt dock, you won't gain any extra speed over these ports either. So once again, the USB-C hub and the Thunderbolt dock will give you the exact same speeds over those particular ports as well. Well, and then moving over to this port here on the end, which is USB C. In the instance of this particular USB C hub, that is for power delivery. Now, in this particular hub's example, this will actually pass through up to a hundred watts of power to whatever is connected to it. And in the instance of using a Thunderbolt dock, quite often a lot of them will only go up to about 60 watts on pass through for such ports as well. Now, there's obviously a bit of a difference on some Thunderbolt docks where they not only have USB-C ports for data, but they may also have Thunderbolt on them as well. However, if you are not using USB-C devices or Thunderbolt devices to plug into the hub or the dock, then it is absolutely unnecessary to use those data ports. Now, moving to the end of this USB-C hub, and we have a gigabit Ethernet connection here. Now, once again, if you've got a gigabit Ethernet connection on a Thunderbolt dock, you are not gonna be able to transfer transfer data any faster than a gigabit. So once again, between the USB-C hub and a Thunderbolt dock, this particular port won't work any faster on the Thunderbolt dock. Now, just to quickly recap, all these ports on this USB-C hub, ranging from the HDMI port, which does 4K60, to the two SD card slots, which do UHS-1, to the two USB-A ports, which are USB-3, five gigabit compatible, down to the USB-C port for power power delivery and also the gigabit port on the end of the hub here. None of these will operate any faster or deliver any more power on a Thunderbolt dock. So unless you have got very specific needs such as display port output or maybe you do need to connect other Thunderbolt devices to a Thunderbolt dock, then in most instances the USB-C hub is going to be a much better purchase and it is a lot cheaper and there are other considerations as well with Thunderbolt docks and they are the fact that some of them don't have any more ports than what this USB-C hub has got on them and also some of them don't 
don't have the extra USB-C or Thunderbolt ports that you may need anyway. And don't forget as well, I also use this USB-C hub on my MacBook Pro M1 Max and also my M1 iPad Pro and it is absolutely fantastic on both of them. Anyways, there will be a link to this hub in the description below. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subbing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon. And don't forget to go and give Tone from Tone's Adventures HD a quick visit. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now. <laughs>